Hey scientists, I don't know about you, but yesterday it was so hot outside. And then today, out of nowhere, it's been raining all day. Isn't that weird how sometimes really hot weather is followed by rain? Especially if you live near a really large body of water. Let's talk about it and find out why. Did you know that 71% of the earth is covered in water? Always. The amount of water doesn't increase or decrease. It just travels around a bit through the water cycle. Let's say that the water starts in the ocean. I mean, it's a cycle, so it doesn't technically have a beginning, but we'll start with the ocean. The sun beats down on the ocean, and the ocean water starts to evaporate. That's when water turns into its gas form, water vapor. Evaporation is what happens when you spill water on the sidewalk and it disappears. Anyway, when the ocean water evaporates, it moves upwards. Once the water vapors get high enough in the sky, they start to cool off and condensate. Condensation is when water vapors cool back down and become liquid again. Condensation also happens when you set a cold glass of water out on a table on a hot day and the outside of the cup gets wet and starts to sweat. The cup of water is cold enough to cool off the water vapors in the air and the liquid water collects on your cup. In the sky, there's no cup for the water to collect on. So after a while, the liquid water collects together to form clouds. Once the clouds get heavy enough with rain, they start to lower and become darker. Dark heavy clouds full of rain are called cumulonimbus clouds. And when you see dark clouds with big fluffy white tops off in the distance, you can bet someone is in for a storm. The water comes back down to earth through precipitation. Precipitation is just water falling back to earth, like rain. From there, the water moves downhill and becomes runoff. It heads towards creeks that head towards streams and then to rivers which head back to the ocean. But the water cycle is a lot more complicated than that. Evaporation doesn't just happen with ocean water. Lakes evaporate, ponds evaporate, even that water you spilt on your shirt evaporates and heads back to the next stop in the water cycle. And not all condensation turns into clouds. It can also become dew, like on plants in the morning. It can become frost, the condensation in the clouds can sink low to the ground and become fog. Or another option is that the evaporated water vapors can just hang around and become humidity. And precipitation doesn't have to be rain. It can also be snow, sleet, hail, mist, or even drizzle. Then, to top it all off, water runoff doesn't always end up back at the ocean. A lot of times it ends up frozen in glaciers, or locked in ponds, lakes, and a lot of it also goes underground to aquifers. Aquifers are just rocks that hold water underground like storage tanks. But, once you tie it all together, you end up with a water cycle. Let's look at some questions. 